reverse abdominals, or you might also know it as um, knee stretch facing back, or reverse knee stretch, or kneeling abdominals facing back. I have one blue spring attached, or one spring if you only have springs that are all the same. Um, I'm going to hold on to the frame as I get onto the reformer. I'm kneeling, I'm not all the way up to the shoulder rests, but my knees are just an inch or two back away from the shoulder rests. But then I lean a shift forward, I lean my weight forward. So now the middle of my thighs is touching the shoulder rests, but my knees are still not, okay? Uh, my hands are on the frame. So as I'm leaning forward, now I wanna make sure that my wrists are underneath my shoulders. And I'm looking at a spot straight down and I'm picking a, a, a spot and mark on the floor and I keep looking at that so I'm not going to travel forward and back. All I'm doing is I pull my knees under my belly and I'm coming back. So my, my spine is neutral, so it's flat sort of, right? My sit bones are reaching straight back, my tailbone and my pubis are straight, reaching straight back, uh, my head is not dropped. I'm lifting the back of my head up towards the ceiling. I'm lifting out of my shoulders of equal length on both sides of the neck. And then I flex at the hip. And then I release. I flex at the hip and I slowly control it back. Okay? This is quite hard. It requires a lot of shoulder stability. Um, yeah, you might see a lot of this. So try to keep the shoulders away from the ears and wide and, and lifted. The ribcage not sagging, but lifted. Okay. Um, something you might see is that people travel forward, so they're, they're moving at the shoulder joint instead of moving at the hip joint. How, um, I mean, it, it, it is, it could be a variation, you could call it lat pull, um, so you could just make it, make it sort of a shoulder exercise, but if you want to make it a hip disassociation exercise, um, then you could place your hand, your palm, against the front, the top of their head, and stop them from moving forward. And then also they want to let go here because it requires strength to keep the upper body here while the knees go back instead of letting everything go back. So I would place my hand against the top of their head right here, telling them, don't push into my hand, don't let your head come away from my hand. Stay, keep light contact on my hand throughout the whole exercise. Then we can do a very fun single leg variation. So I am reaching one leg back and a pull with the other leg. Try to keep both of my arms straight. And then switch. Good. Even harder than your flat back is your round back. So if you come into a cat, curl the tailbone under, reach it down, lift out of your shoulders, pull the navel up towards the ceiling, and pull towards you, and round more as you uh, pull. Exhale, push the back up towards the ceiling like an angry cat. Inhale, relax. Oh my gosh, that's so much work. Exhale, pull. Inhale into your back and relax. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more cool information, head over to PilatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.